What's up guys, this is Andrew from Tom Goods Media and this is gonna be my 500 subscriber special. First of all, I uh, hope you like the hair. It is the result of the current lockdown and quarantine in our country. Hope you like the, the Opa hairstyle. So for today, I'm gonna call this series Quarantine Cuisine. I hope that name's not taken yet. Let me, let me just check real quick. Quarantine Cuisine. Yep, it's taken. Just think of a name, probably the Lockdown Food Brain Fart Challenge. No, if you put challenge in every video, you're gonna get, probably gonna get a lot of views. So we're making two sandwiches today. The first sandwich we're gonna make is a, a spicy tinapa open face sandwich. And the second one is gonna be a spicy bacon and egg as open face sandwich. I say open face because I we are currently really low on bread right now. So I'm just gonna use one piece piece of each just so that I can show you two recipes since it's my 500 subscriber uh, special. So let's get started. So the first sandwich I'm gonna make is the spicy tinapa sandwich. So all you need is a jar of tinapa in oil, could be not spicy, and mayonnaise. Yes, it's open. Best foods, real mayonnaise. I, I, I love this stuff. So basically, you're just gonna mix two of them. It, it may sound weird right now, like, what, tinapa and mayonnaise? You know, that, that doesn't sound like it's appetizing at all, but trust me. So first, you gotta get a bowl, and then you're gonna put uh, around two to three pieces of this spicy tinapa. And I have here mayonnaise. Uh, you can use... No, just use mayonnaise. I'm gonna put about probably one tablespoon, yeah? And then you just mix it up. Already here, the comments or see the comments right now that's that looks disgusting it looks disgusting but once you actually taste it it's like a delicious blend of spicy creamy and fishy so that's the mixture right there you're gonna get a piece of nicely toasted bread which i've already pre-toasted you will just spread it in the middle like so nice and spread it just like that look at that look at that sandwich tell me that does not look good please don't say it. it doesn't look good it looks good right now what makes this different from any other sandwich okay i'm gonna put this in plate i'm sure you have at least one bag of um cornic there so this will add that little crispy a layer to this um sandwich yeah it's super simple you know this can this can also be called dorm food lockdown cuisine challenge that's it. It's done. First open face sandwich is done. It's just, it looks good. I'm gonna take B-roll later, but... All right, so the next sandwich I'm gonna be making is a bacon and a spicy bacon and egg uh, sandwich. So I have here a leftover bacon, which I've already thought out, which I'm gonna be frying. I'm gonna cut up one onion. You should just dice them up really nice and small. because we, We're gonna sweat this out with the bacon. Dice that onion up. So all I'm gonna do now is fry them together. So what we wanna do is just uh, fry the bacon first so that uh, we render the fat out and then add the onions and then we just have to make sure that it's all nice and sweated this will take about three to four minutes to release all that fat and after this i've already boiled an egg you can pre-boil that while you're doing this or boil it while you're rendering the fat of the bacon and then all we're gonna do is mix it together and that's it thanks for watching and see i'm just kidding all right so the bacon is looking really good it's getting a little getting a little crispy we can now add the onions. Now we want the onions to cook down really nice and soft. Okay, so the onions look really nice and sweated. I will add a teaspoon of sriracha. And I have this Clara Ole jalapeno cheese dip, which is probably... <laughs> which is used for... <laughs> For nachos, but I'm gonna be using it here because I think it works well. You can use cheese Swiss if you don't have this. This is about a tablespoon. So one teaspoon of sriracha and a tablespoon of cheese sauce. Oh, that looks really good right now. Oh, fuck. Once this is done, you close it now. You can put this in a bowl, just transfer it. And while it is hot, you can put your mayonnaise and your boiled egg right now. So I have a boiled egg here, I'm gonna crack. Just add it here. I'm sure I'm gonna need a bigger bowl, but I don't have one right now. And add another tablespoon of mayonnaise. And with the fork, just mix it together. It looks like it's well incorporated. I am making a mess. I am making a mess right now. You're just gonna get your other piece of bread and you will just spread it. My mic dropped. It's, this is, this is my mic. So, 
hope you can still hear me. So there is my bacon, my spicy bacon and egg sandwich. I almost forgot what this was. All right, so let's cut this up into two or three. I'm not gonna be finishing this by myself. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Ah, stupid. Better cut it the other way, but you know what? I'll cut the other one the other way. <laughs> That's how you cut a sandwich, guys. Okay, don't be, don't be like me. So let's try the the first one I made. This is the, I'm gonna cut it again. This is the tinap, spicy tinapa with mayonnaise and crispy cornic. You can hear the crunch. It's really good. It's spicy. It's smoky. Really creamy. The bread uh, holds very well. Again, this is just recipes that you can mix and match everything. If you don't have tinapa, you can use sardines. If you don't have Carnic, you can use any chips you have. I'm sure you have chips lying around there. Let's put it on top. Really nice and simple. Let's try the spicy uh, bacon sandwich with egg. Mm. I think I like this better. <laughs> I like bacon, so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this 500 subscriber special. I know it doesn't seem so hard to make these recipes, but you know what? It's the simplest recipes that you guys would probably follow. You can interchange the ingredients in the in the sandwich or, you know, just make sure to use everything in the fridge. Just make sure it's not expired and have fun in the kitchen. You know, that's that's the most important thing. You have fun, feed your family, your friend. Now, uh, friends, social distancing. So <laughs> maybe next time your family, you know, your loved ones. You just got to make sure you you're very creative at this time so thanks for watching guys uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tom Goods Media share this with your friends and hopefully everyone is safe stay at home be healthy exercise and do everything so yeah God bless guys bye